All right, one last item to unbox, and this is something that goes with something else. So this is an adapter from Celestron called the NexYZ, and what it allows you to do is attach your smartphone uh, to the eyepiece so you can get uh, images of whatever your binoculars or telescope are picking up. And recently, I bought a new telescope. This is the uh, StarSense Explorer. Uh, that we saw at CES. It uses your phone as a star tracker, so we're going to have to have two phones to use this, one to take pictures and the other one to track stars. Uh, and I haven't had a good night to use it yet, so I'm eager to try it out, but I wanted to uh, get this adapter ready for when we do have a good night so that my daughters and I can start doing some stargazing together, a little astronomy lesson while we're home learning. And this might be a fun way to capture what we're looking at. And what we'll do in a minute here is attach it to the telescope to take a few images outside just to see what it looks like here. So let's take it out of the bag and see how this all comes together. Um, so it looks like you've got a clamp here. And then I guess you just align the uh, eyepiece or the camera of your phone uh, with the eyepiece on the telescope. So let me see how this works. All right, so I've got the uh, device here clamped to my eyepiece, and now what I'm going to do is put the phone in, and you're watching a live stream from the phone. And as you can see, we've already got some image here, and all I have to do is just kind of adjust the adjustments here to get it into a good spot. Uh, now, on my phone right now, I can't choose which camera that I'm using, um, but I can move the uh, phone a little closer to the eyepiece and kind of adjust things until I get it into the right spot. So you get a lot of good adjustments here. And as you can see, we've got that blue bench there uh, right, in, right in there and right all locked in. It looks pretty cool. So we're not, of course, looking at the sky right now because it's the daytime. Uh, just dial it in there, get your camera aligned, and you've got a pretty good image here. The guys are out mowing the grass right now. You'll see him drive right by there. Uh, and all together, it seems to be working pretty cool. So this is a neat way to get a smartphone attached to your telescope or binocular, and it's pretty easy to figure out. I'm eager to try this with my Pixel phone because it has a night vision mode, so it'd be fun to see how uh, it's able to work with super low light conditions. Uh, but you definitely have to keep your hands off of it because you can see how easy it is to get a lot of knocking going on with just a little tap of the finger. So you'll want to get it really stable, uh, let go, and let it kind of settle down and then you should be able to capture some good images. So you might want to get something where you've got um, you know, a remote trigger for the photos there, but it seems to be working pretty cool.